So, it's about 8 o'clock. I think it's February 16th. Look at this snow. It's like higher than this window. It's nuts. This is like a three foot drop down there to the roof. It's almost to the top of that. The sun's coming. It's eight o'clock. <coughs> you can see it's already over there. Daddy, what's your going up? Mm-hmm. It's gone. So, just clean the panels. 20 after. What are we starting at today? 9.28. Everything's already making power. Not very much. Sun's not on them. 0.8 of an amp. 0.6. Two so far. It's only uh, ten o'clock, I think. Ten o'clock. We're not to full heat. We're doing. We're doing twenty-seven. Got ten over here. We got sixteen over here. So we are still at a loss. Like I said, it's only ten o'clock in the morning. The house is 22 degrees upstairs already. And trust me, once you get these heaters going, it's a uh, 2,100 watts coming in off this guy. Batteries are at 28.9 to 29 volts. There. 12.8. Volts per battery. It goes out of balance a bit, but we're not too bad. It's usually when I keep some pressure on the batteries, just like some load, they stay in balance. So once I bring them down to all the same level, they seem to all balance, bottom balance. So I'll just keep an eye on everything. We are going down, I believe. I don't know. Who knows? We're doing pretty good, though. We got three heaters running upstairs. No fireplace. So, thanks. So, the phone says minus 12 outside. That's where we are inside. Almost at 22.70 Fahrenheit. It is nice and sunny, some clouds. You can see out there. There is some clouds, not much blocking, but. Anyways. Thanks. So, it is 11 o'clock. The hours go by pretty quick around here. We're at 9.33. Uh, we were doing 23 amps, but the. Bathroom heater kicked back on. Everything's pretty much up to temperature upstairs, so just overdoing it. We're in float mode, running 3200 watts. So everything is low voltage now. It's got a good charge. These two actually work together. This one goes up and down, up and down, up and down all day long. And then when I added this one in, this one's got the CC, CV, like constant current, constant voltage, like a normal three-stage charger this one's like a one-stage charge it just brings it up to voltage puts it back down and then this guy here will 
work them both together. So this one will not let this one go back down. So unless I turn that one off or a cloud comes by, then it will start cycling again until this one can take over. Or in the afternoon when the panels aren't very, because uh, this one's a morning panel. So this one's like a full midday, all day, or like peak time. Or this one comes up nice and early, it starts charging higher at, in the morning. Which it doesn't really make much sense. The best to have them all pointing to the highest power sun because nine o'clock in the morning, you're not getting a good uh, distance from the sun. You're further distance from the sun. Where at lunchtime, you're you're at the straightest path to the sun. So, either way, you can see this one's doing six amps, and this one's taking the brunt of everything. I'm doing twenty. 2700 watts you know it's funny uh, I got that owl that's outside that sits around my panels and I think he knocked one of my wires off because last the last time I did a test like this I got 16 so kilowatt hours but six of my panels at 18 were uh, disconnected positive was disconnected so I noticed that the one tag was hanging down on one of the panels and I plugged it back in at night and we are back to making good power again like this thing's only rated for 40 amps I think I've seen it at about 35 30 amps something like that like it's rated for 4800 and I've got 4200 on it so watts and the batteries are off balance because I didn't take it down very low you can see these guys are at 14 and those guys are at 13.5 it's a huge difference I think I got maybe a bad battery in here somewhere it's just dying I can't it's not hot none of them are hot it's just uh, probably one that's getting too old and it's just bringing the whole group of four down. See the load. There's one bar on the load at 3,000 watts. Anyways. Just keep it going for a bit. Might turn these guys off to try and balance the battery bank a bit. Anyways, thanks guys. So, I know we're getting in good power right now. But I turned off two heaters, two of the baseboards, and it's just a fan heater going right now. So, what I'm gonna do is turn this guy off. I don't know if this guy, oh, it is making pretty good power. Yeah, it's doing 11 amps. And we're only using 11, so it's probably got this one covered. Might have to turn that one off as well. But what I'm trying to do is drain the batteries down to about... It's full, almost full load. Let's we'll see how that goes. Perfect. It's nice. No problems with the breakers. I'm going to just watch this guy drain down to about 123. <laughs> that like this isn't gonna stop because it's only AC it's not registering what my panels are producing it's only registering what I'm burning at, at AC 120 volts so do a little quicker it's already down to 128 just off batteries blender going upstairs you see it does start pull balance when it gets down in the lowers you know it's not right now. That's weird, eh? This one doesn't charge up, but it also doesn't drop. That's what I don't get about it. It can't be a bad connection. Because, uh... They're all kind of uh, the same size wire. 
Everything's the same. My leaks. Looking for leaks. Here's some guy's gas in a bed up here. Nothing major. Like, you really gotta squeeze them. Yeah, squeeze them. That one's good. Pretty gassy. Sorry, we just let this even out a little bit. I don't care what it goes down to, really. It doesn't matter. As long as it goes down. <clears throat> then we'll fire everything back up again and really see what we're pulling in for wattage. Thanks. So, I brought them all back down. Now you can see we're there for balance. Weird, eh? Back doing the 3300 watts. And we are charging. As you can see, they're going up. 2800 here. over here off the solar panels it's different off the batteries but leave it like that let it go up to where the actual voltage is. It's probably a little bit off because the load. You see, going up fairly decent. I'd like to see that one hit 130 or 13 before that one hit 13.1. But obviously I can't be that lucky. So, it is what it is. And then I went back down. I might be hitting a cloud or something. Anyways, thank you. So, I think it's been another 25 minutes or so since I turned it back on for balancing. Just a quick bottom balance. Still running 3300. Turning up on this guy. The remainder on this guy. And it's going up. Let's see where it's. 33, somewhere in there. Or 43. Let's see where we're at for balance now. Well, it's looking much better for balance at that high range. No, this one's going up and the other ones are going slow. It's weird, eh? Stupid batteries. But you can see how they're going. They're not too bad. Other than this one, the bottom one's a high one now. They're not bad though. I'd rather see that than what I've seen before. Because it's limited at 14.2. It's supposed to do plus or minus 2. So. so stay right there for the remainder of the day. I'd be happy. Thanks a lot, guys. I'll keep you in the loop for what we made at the end of the day. So, let's run 1.30. Pretty much peak time, so it's too hot upstairs, they keep shutting off. So it's time to start heating the basement. This guy's been off. Probably 3 o'clock in the morning, she went out. So, I just left it off all day. I knew I got up around 8, and it was already getting nice and sunny and blue sky, so. Sounds like it's still cycling, so we're doing all right. Still running 30. Haven't been running 30, 300 all day. I just keep turning it off when they get too hot. So. Still 
keeping it up to voltage. It is starting to get past that one's peaks, and now it's all mainly this one that's starting to get into its peaks. Well, around one, uh, 1230 to one, 1230 to 230 is about its peak, I'd say. It's pretty much the best power you'll get out of it. Okay. So, let's see where we're at for kilowatt hours, right? Started at 9.28, so we're already at 12 kilowatt hours, that's 1.30, and we're still doing 3,000 watts in cycling, so the batteries are still getting their full charge, very hard to tell, like this, these guys sample at a different time, take their voltage readings at a different time, so it's hard to pinpoint. And then the voltage is constantly going up and down when that thing's in charge, so. There's a high one on here. Yeah, there's two top ones, one at the same 146 on here. And watch the bottoms. 342. 341, it's hard to tell. Anyways, almost done the thing outside too, so. Anyways, thanks guys. So, at 2 o'clock, actually at 2 o'clock it was already changed, but I looked at it like 3 minutes before and it hadn't, so it's been 15 plus minutes right now. Still running 3200 watts, so it should be any minute that this thing should change to 43 if it's right. And we're on the downslope now. This is more power than we're pulling in. Batteries are starting to go down. Eight amps there. I think we're doing. Uh, 17 amps there, 0.4, 0.2, 8, 0.5, 2 amps shy, which is a few hundred watts. I have a loss right now. So I don't know if it's actually right or if it's wrong. If it goes uh, over 20 after before it changes, then it's wrong. But it should be quicker than a couple minutes here. It goes 20 after. I'd be disappointed if it's wrong. I've been telling me the wrong numbers the whole time. I think it's pretty right. A little less than 20 minutes. I'll give it to you in time exactly. So. It's 17 after. Okay, we'll run this right down until we get down to 12.2 uh, volts on the batteries and then we'll start turning loads off. Let's see what we are for the balance. Okay. 
play so here for quite a while, to tell you the truth. Just because, uh... <coughs> sun's still pretty bright out there. But, that one's gonna start giving out soon. Because actually, this one blocks that one after 5, 6 o'clock in the summer. We'll just keep an eye on everything. And we're at 9.43. Started at 9.28 today. I'll start running around 8.30 a.m. It's now 20 after 2. Cool. Thanks. Cool, man. So this is where we're at. It is. It's just like an update here, anyways. Ten to three. Still milking it. We should be milking it upstairs, I guess, instead of heating the basement. I may turn the heat off down here and just plug the one in upstairs. Oh, down to six down here. Amps coming in. I don't know what this guy got, but that's the voltage 125. This always jumps around, so that 126. So it's 125 and higher. Now it's down to 124. 126 is all over the place. Just gives you kind of an estimate of where it is, it seems. So, this is where we are for balance. Like I said, when it gets down lower, it stays much more balanced. Anyways. This is where we're at, too. 9.44. So, we've already done 16 kilowatts. Okay, see you guys. So, the end of the day comes pretty quick. It's uh, 20 after 3. I brought it down to 15, 16 amps of heat. It's pretty much one fan heater and the bathroom. Which is plenty hot upstairs. Got the four amps coming in off that array. And 12.1 off that array. So 16, 16. There's a bit breaking even. I think we're actually on the rise. So, but it won't be for long. Let's see where we are. Everything is pretty much holding, except for this guy. No one. It's alright. Just keep plugging away. 9.45. It's at 9.28 to 9.45. 17. 17 kilowatt hours AC so far. Still got a couple more hours to go. And honestly, I can uh, keep going after the sun goes down, because then I start taking off the batteries. But we'll see. I usually let it let off, and then let me switch another kilowatt. Up to 18. Anyways, thanks, guys. So, that's it. I'm shutting her down. That's uh Almost five o'clock. Five to five. I like to have it nice and charged up. Did good though.
Let's let these guys charge for the rest of the night. Let me shut this guy off here. Alright guys, have a good night.